Well, hi there, pluckers. I'll be so finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. This one is a classic number from George Harrison called Something. Okay, in standard tuning, no capos as you can see, and I am doing it in the same key that George Harrison originally recorded this number in. Okay, so I'll be going through the number now, uh, minus the instrumental break in the middle to keep it uh, relatively short. Okay. Uh, and I'll be yodeling as usual, so don't worry about that. <laughs> so let's get to it, and then I shall break it down for you. Here we go. <clears throat> to the breakdown right so the classic uh, iconic intro basically I'm starting on the um, 10th fret of the second string and then basically you've got to pre-bend uh, the 12th fret on the second string up, up a note up half a note so it's so you bend it before you pluck it and then let it go down so it's a back to the 10th fret on the second string, so it's so you bend that 12th fret of the second string up before you hit it. Okay, so then you play the 11th on the second, 12th on the second, and then you haven't got time to hit the next one, so into the chord. Okay, so the whole intro slowly is. C. C major 7th and I'm playing the full uh, four finger job okay so I'm playing the, the uh, sixth string as well on the third fret okay that's a simple C and that's a slightly more complicated C okay so something in the way take your first finger off C major 7th C 7th attracts me like no other F no there's a bit of a rundown, so I'm playing. So that's third on the fourth string of the F chord. Then lower it down to the second fret on the fourth string, and then go into a D chord. Okay. So from the beginning, something in the way. C major seventh, C seventh coming up. Attracts me like. Another F, run down, D, in the 
the D7. She G moves me. Now this has got a, a walking bass bit on it. So you play that sixth string of the G chord, then take the second finger, uh, your that finger off on the fifth string and play it open. And put it back again and play that note, second on the fifth. So it's So you G, 6th string, G, scrum, A, o, A open, 5th string open, scrum, and then put that finger back and play. Okay, that. So from the beginning. Coming in the way, C major 7, C7, C F, run down to the D, D7, G run up. Okay, so basically when I do that, I do that, six string strum, I actually take that finger off and then play that and then that one, see? Like that. And then we go into an A minor. Okay, so from the beginning. Seventh, the track speed up, F, run down to D, run down to the D7, G, walk up, now A minor, now we've got to do like a C augmented. The easiest way I can show you that is basically I play uh, like a bar chord on the first fret. Um, on the basically the strings you're interested in are three and two, two and three. And then you play the second finger going on the uh, fourth string, second fret, and finally the third finger is going on the third fret of the fifth string. So and the strings you're interested in are five, four, three, two. Okay. So that's A minor, and then that. That's not too difficult. A minor, C augmented. Okay. There are other names for that, but we'll call it C augmented. Okay. And then you play an A minor seventh. That's just A minor with uh, that finger off. So you open third string. Okay. So that bit is. Um, it comes out of that G walk walk up. Don't. C or mid, A minor 7th, D7. Now, so we'll just get all the way to there, okay? So from the beginning, something, C major 7, C7, a track, me line, F, a run down, D, D7, G run up. Minor, C augmented, A minor seventh, D seventh. Now, if you can get a quick F in, that would be great. Just play a strum on, a single strum on the F chord, and then you have to play this little intro riff again. Exactly the same as you did at the intro. Okay. If you can't get the F in, then go straight to that riff. Okay. Okay, miss out the F. Okay, so that's if you've got if you're quick enough to play that. Okay, so that then that's the that's basically the verse. Okay, and then it goes into verse two. So let's just quickly go through this verse in slow motion. Okay, from the beginning, right from the beginning, we'll play the intro. Okay, two, three, four. C, D, C major seven, C seven. Run down to D, D7, G run up, A minor, C augmented, A minor 7th, D, quick F, riff. So 
somewhere, and that's the second verse, okay? So that's exactly the same as the first verse, exactly, okay, with different words, obviously. Okay, so when you come out of the second verse, and you come into this, um, quick F, okay, and then you do the riff. This time, instead of going to a C, you go to an A major. Okay, A major, straightforward A major, however you play it. Okay, so U three four, and now start singing the middle bit, the bridge section. Okay, where it goes. You're asking me with I love. Okay, that bit. Okay, so it's four beats on A after the riff. It's exactly the same riff. A, B, four, A. You're asking A major seventh. Me. That's very simple. It's basically all you do is you drop the uh, third string, which is normally on an A, is the second fret. You drop it to the first fret. So you end up with um, a finger on the second fret of the fourth string, first fret of the third string, and second fret of the, it's like a triangle, of the second string and five down to one, okay, so that's A and that's A major seven, okay, so after that you come out of that to an A, four beats, three, four singing, you're asking me about now we play it F sharp bar chord, F sharp minor bar chord, okay, full F sharp minor bar chord and hit that try and emphasize that second fret on the sixth string okay so it's two three four you're asking a major seventh F sharp minor and that's the reason I want you to do that because you do two beats on that and then you take that bar off just pivot it so that the sixth string is open. Okay, and then you hit that note and play the F sharp minor. Just release that pressure on the, take it up, just move it away from the sixth string, the bar. So you've got a open sixth string. So you've got the progression, then you've got. Okay. Either that or just play the bar to start with and then play that if you find that hard so it's hit the bar like that and take the bar off completely and just do the normal F sharp minor and hit that E string on the top six string there six string okay open so after it comes out of that to the A four beats you're at A to A major seven to F sharp minor Shall I with the E in the bass? Okay. D G and then I do an A, lazy A, like that. Just a strum like because you have to go this. Okay, that's a nice run down there. So okay from the beginning, so the middle section. Two, three. You're asking A major 7, to F sharp minor with a F sharp new bass, and open 6th string, and then D, G, and I'm playing a 4 finger G there, it's a bit more effective with the 4 fingers, double, doubling up on the 3rd fret, 1st and 2nd strings. And then you play that strum on the A chord, lazy A chord, and then you have to do this rundown, 4th fret of the 6th string, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret, okay, so open, and back to the A chord, and the A major 7th chord, okay, so here we go, you're asking A major 7 to F sharp minor, with the E in the bass, D, G, A running, A, da, da, 
I know you seven da 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 F sharp minor again E in the bass D G Now this time we go to a C not an A rundown this is a C rundown okay and that basically is C okay then down to the second on the fifth so open fifth third on the six open six and then play the open fourth string and then the C chord comes in and we start the last verse something in the way she knows okay so let's just go through this whole middle section again from the end of the second verse okay four beats on the A A you're asking A major 7 A sharp minor with 6 string open D G A run down A A major 7 F sharp minor with E in the bass D G C run down gone into the instrumental at that point and played an instrumental verse okay but I'm just playing the singing final verse okay something and that's exactly the same as the first and the second verses okay and it comes out of that um, don't want to leave her now quick F and this time it goes to an A again and then you repeat the um, you repeat quick F and then the riff again and this time finish on a C and that's the end of the song so just to repeat I just go through the very last verse okay after it comes out of that middle bridge section something in the way C major 7th C 7th and all I have to do F this thing is run down so it's a D, something D7, G walk up, up, A minor run down, D, C augmented, A minor 7th, D7, quick air, to an A, quick air, run, C, finish. Well, okay then, so I think we'll just clarify the middle section again, because that's probably the hardest bit, isn't it? So, from the beginning of the so, so, second verse, into the A bit, okay? A, you're asking A major 7, A sharp minor, E in the bass, D, G, A run down, A, the seventh a sharp minor with E in the bass D G now C run down something in the way she knows again that run down on the C again just to clarify that C second fret fifth string so open fifth third on the sixth open six open fourth C third verse okay final verse well, there you have it hopefully that will help you play that song thanks for watching this thing and I'll see you in the next video bye for now